What's up, cinema lovers, and welcome to another episode of Two Eye Cinemas. I'm your host, Sharem. And here on Two Eye Cinemas, I like to give my opinion on some of the most popular pieces of cinema in the world. In today's episode, I'm going to be doing a run-through and review of She-Hulk, episode four, starring Tatiana Maslany, Jamil Jamel, and Benedict Wong. Now, let's get into it. Donnie Blaze, a magician who was expelled from Kamataj for unethical use of his powers, sends an audience member named Madison to another dimension, where she makes a deal with a demon before being transported to Wong's home in Kamataj. Wong approaches Walters and asks for her help in making an example of Blaze so that people like him will not be able to misuse the mystic arts, so they launch a legal case against him. Meanwhile, Walters creates a profile on a dating app in the hopes of expanding her social life but has little success until she changes it into a profile for She-Hulk. On that note, don't forget to check out some of our merch options provided by KLB Supply at klbsupply.com. Follow KLB Supply and Two High Cinemas on all social media platforms. Like and subscribe for any updates. And let's get back into it. Blaze accidentally unleashes a swarm of demons at one of his shows, but Wong and Walters are able to deal with the creatures, and Walters threatens Blaze into complying with all her cease and desist orders. The next day, Walters learns that Titania has been freed and is filing a lawsuit against her, having trademarked the name She-Hulk. All right, so now the review. Uh, okay. <laughs> First of all, I already know people are going to be mad. Uh, it's not Johnny Blaze, it's Donnie Blaze. Uh, so it's not Ghost Rider. Um, I don't know why Marvel even did that. Why Marvel? Uh, but getting past that, this is my favorite episode so far. Uh, the show really found this balance in this episode. Uh, it was funny as hell. Uh, I had action and all the feels of like a, a legal comedy. Uh, Madison is a perfect addition to the show. Every scene she was in, she shined. Well, She-Hulk going on those creepy dates was pretty funny. Uh, but back to Donnie Blaze. Uh, not gonna lie, he was funny, but more importantly, he proves mortal right. Too many sorcerers. Uh, we got Donnie Blaze running around trapping drunk women in other dimensions just for an applause. Come on. Seems like Dr. Strange isn't the only sorcerer dropping the ball. Like, I'm, I'm looking at you, Wong. <laughs> I, all right, so now, I have a feeling just throwing it out there, that the Wong we see in She-Hulk is a scrub. He seems to know all the pop culture stuff, which you can get from watching TV or something like that, or some kind of like signals. Maybe they were broadcasting from Earth uh, to a scroll spaceship or something. Uh, but he doesn't know basic laws. Um, and when the hell did Kamatai start having flat screens? Uh, I know they got Wi-Fi, but I didn't see no big screens on any of the walls at Kamatai from any of the other movie and streaming shows. Answer me that, Marvel. Where did Wong get a flat screen? Now the grading. So when it comes to comedy, I'm gonna give it dank. Drama, definitely dank. Action, dank. And horror, dank as well. And that was my run through and review of today's movie. Please hit the like, subscribe, and comment down below on what you would like me to review next. For now, smoke you later.